Hello, YouTube. This week, we're in Dallas, Texas. Actually, for the next two weeks, we're in Dallas, Texas. Today, I've come out to Cedar Ridge Nature Preserve, hiking to what I think is Cattail Pond. I'm not sure. I'm hoping this is a map up ahead of me. But just getting out for a little morning hike. I slept through sunrise, so we won't get that. But we are out. We're going to explore. We're going to see what we can find. Uh, and that's it, really. Today we're just getting outside. Don't know what we're going to find uh, or what's out here. So once again, we're just going to take it in and enjoy the scenery and the beauty and hopefully get a couple of really nice photographs along the way. So come along with me. Let's explore Cedar Ridge Nature Preserve. All right, so we've come about one-tenth of a mile down this trail, and I've come across this fallen tree leaning up against the dark green of the leaves and the branches behind it. And I really like the contrast of the white bark of this tree leaning back against the green. So ISO 200, F9, about half a second exposure, one-fourth of a second. Uh, polarizer, just to take the glare off the leaves in here. And that's it, really simple, just kind of Got the leading line of the branch going that way, leading line going that way, leading line going off that way. So this thing just pulls you into it and it makes you look along the branch. Uh, I'm just waiting now for these clouds roll by and the clouds are moving really fast. So maybe we'll get a little more light on this tree and uh, get a little more contrast going on. But that's it. Really simple, really clean, just the way I like it. All right, so you've all heard the saying, a photograph never lies. They can bend the truth a little bit. I've come across this tree, and the photograph kind of looks like a lone tree out in a field, but truth be told, I'm crammed up against this fence here at the end of the trail, shooting that tree right there, uh, and framing it on it to make it look like it's by itself. Uh, just the other side of this hill is the interstate. Um, but this is a fun picture. I have a polarizer in there uh, Just to kind of blew up the sky and just make the colors pop in this. We're not really trying to reduce anything No glare I'm not reducing any glare or anything and I got this cool little streak of sunlight across in the grass and the trees kind of falling off into shadow I'm gonna throw a 10 stop Neutral density the big stopper in here to slow this way down. So shooting at an ISO 50 F9 and we will be at, with the big stop in there, 30 seconds, it's saying. Uh, let's see here. If we kick up to 100, ISO 100, that's gonna give me a proper 30. So, two second timer, 30 seconds, F9. I'm not gonna make you wait around for this exposure to complete, but I'll show it to you when it's done. Another really simple, yet really nice composition here. Got a vine here that is growing up this tree right here. You can see it, it's growing up the tree. So the shot's really simple. Oops, that went away. See if we lean that back there. Shot's really simple. Just the little vine up the tree. Uh, polarizer, got a polarizer on this one just to kind of take the glare off the leaf. ISO 100, F9. Eighth of a second, sixth of a second, sixth. Uh, and that's it. So we're just gonna keep going down this trail and see what else we can find. It's turned out to be a really great day for uh, starting off struggling and not knowing 
what I was going to do. I think I've come away with three, maybe five shots. That worked out pretty well. Another runner. So many, so many people in this park. That is a day here from Cedar Ridge Nature Preserve here near Dallas, Texas. I think we had a pretty good day. The two or three shots that are pretty good. They're maybe not keepers, but they're better than anything I would have gotten by staying inside. So I think that is our lesson for the day. You may not always get something every time you go out, but you will always get nothing every time you don't. So with that, I'd like to thank you for coming along with me. Thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe below if you want to see some more. I guess up here on the right, subscribe more if you want to see more. And as always, thanks for coming along with me, and we'll see you next time.